Welcome, third graders, to Home Learning, Day 39, May 22nd, 2020. All right, third graders, there's the plan for today. You're watching the video. Thanks for coming. Math. Write out a plan with a parent for studying your multiplication and division facts and using measuring and fraction skills over the summer. Wow. Do a guidance lesson and finish up Seas Behind Trees and take a look at some of those additional activities, the chapter nine activities. Hey, third graders, it's time to start planning our summer math plan. So as soon as you hear that word summer, that doesn't mean school is over. We have two more weeks of school. Now it's gonna be a little bit different. Um, we're not going to be meeting the same way. It's going to be a little bit more one-on-one -on -one, and we have some um, important things to finish up, like we, you know, gathering up things like our books that you have. <laughs> like I believe third graders, you all have a couple of uh, textbooks at home, science and social studies, I believe, and also um, a couple of chapter books, Seas Behind Trees and Charlotte's Web. Um, I certainly would like those back. So, you know, find out where the, those are, get organized. Um, I know some of you are hoping to to see your praying hands up in the, the trophy display case. And hopefully you can find those and hand those back and I can throw those up in there. That would be awesome. So um, it's... Uh, going to be a little bit different of home learning but home learning is still going on you have some projects to do and it's a time to start thinking ahead what is going to go on um, shortly in two weeks when you become fourth graders well you, you have to get ready for fourth grade you know you have a lot more learning to do I don't think any third graders are through their third semester of calculus are you and even if you were there's more math after that so Let's get excited about some fun math. Summer math can be super fun. Let's go through some ideas. Now, this video is a lot for your parents too. I have had so many parents over the years ask, well, what should we do this summer to review? What can we do um, so my child doesn't lose skills? Go grab your mom and dad, get a pencil, get a notepad and start taking some notes. So here are some real life ideas to help you be better at math and have fun too. Boys and girls and parents, I know we're all busy, so I'm going to try to go through these ideas quickly. So, the, I broke the summer math plan down into three basic areas. The studying of basic facts, measuring and fractions, and real life math. So, if we focus on those three areas, we will get all the math skills in. And we won't even think about um, doing math because it will just be part of our fun. So here are some ideas that include a lot of math. Cooking, making recipes uh, with cooking, measuring, um, all kinds of things that you use in math. Um, tablespoons, ounces, metric, um, standard units of measurement, all kinds of things. Pounds, um, building projects, can be a lot of fun. Uh, building a bookshelf, uh, uh, building a fishing rod holder, and of course let's move on to the next thing, maintenance. Maintenance is where you can take care of things to make sure it continues to work. So maybe you're changing the oil in your car with your dad. Well, inquire. How, many, how much oil is in that one bottle. Do you have four quarts? Uh, and how many quarts does four quarts make? Well, it makes a gallon. So feel that quart. That will help you understand it. Shopping. Wow, lots of math there. There's opportunities to um, add and subtract money. One of my family's favorite things with shopping has been estimating the bill when you go out to eat. And then adding it up to the exact number. Health. 
Well, when you go out swimming and you didn't wear your earplugs like your mom told you to and you get your swimmer's ear and you get the drops, well, look on the side of that bottle. See how much a drop is. How many milliliters is a drop? Labels. Look at the labels on the side of your food containers. How many ounces is a serving? And measure out that much. Lawn and garden. Wow, lots, a lot of things you can do with that, with rows and columns, lining up your tomato plants, measuring out the area of your patio, maybe. Maybe you're putting in a new patio. Um, and, of course, your bee backs. Now, what is a bee back? Well, a bee back is when you are told by mom or dad, be back by 5 o'clock. We're having supper. Don't be late. So, well, if they told you that, how much time do you have? What is the elapsed amount of time? If it's 440, how much time do you have? Or also, you're, you have blank left. When you're working on the best video game ever, and your parents are like, you have 10 minutes left on that game, and then we're heading to church. Well, what is the exact time that you need to be finished by? And then, of course, there's all kinds of other ideas. Let's go see if we can find some examples of things that include those. So let's take a look here. And let's check around for some real-life ideas ideas boys and girls your first idea is simply a workbench type of idea where you get to work routinely every single day and sit down and practice your basic multiplication or division facts find a time 8 30 right after you wash the kitchen floor maybe and Fill out a basic fact sheet, do flashcards, do something simple and basic, but do it every day for 10 minutes. You can do it. How about doing some baking, boys and girls? Check that out. Look at all those fractions, cups, teaspoons. Make some beef stroganoff. Pounds. Cups ounces use a yardstick or a meter stick to measure out the correct lengths in order to make a fishing rod holder build a bookshelf and go to the hardware store with your mom and pick out the right size screws build a pigeon coop and use a T-square while you're building it. Help your mom pour in the quarts of oil when she changes the oil. Estimate how much time it will take your dad to wax your mom's car. And help him wax it too. Pick out the right size tool. Compared metric size tools to standard size tools. Organize tools according to size. When you go to the grocery store, weigh out your produce in the produce department. Round the cost of each item you buy in the grocery store before you put it in the cart, and then try to estimate the total when you get to the checkout. Cal calculate the square inches of band-aids you're going to use if you skin your knee falling off a skateboard. What does that mean, third graders? One inch by three inches. Calculate the area of your garden. How many equal rows of vegetable plants Will you be able to plant in your garden if they are each space three feet apart? Calculate your be back buys.
if your mom says you have to be back home at 4 o'clock, how many minutes do you have? When mom or dad tells you you have 15 minutes left to play your video game, by what time do you need to be finished? Boys and girls, you can see that there are many ways to use and practice your math skills over the summer. And some of these ways will really help you to understand your math better. So ask your parents to let you help and take interest in what they're doing. There's so much math in every single day activity. Boys and girls, let's look at the concluding activities for Seas Behind Trees. I have been so happy to see some of you have already jumped right in and you've been working on a visualization poster for the Land of Water. Don't forget to include a good simile with that for the title. Of course, some of you love to write. There's another option, number two. It's like writing a little book report. And number three is a fun option if you like to bake. You like to bake some corn cakes and then do some play acting of the scene where it sees behind trees has to hit the boss that's flying through the air before he can get his corn cakes. Of course, only do this one under your parents' supervision. So there you go, boys and girls. Now you have some ideas to take your learning into the summer and for the last couple weeks of school. So enjoy those activities and as always, make sure you um, have your parents' supervision when you do these activities and make sure they're helping you out and they know what you're doing. Boys and girls, third graders, now as we finish up these last couple of weeks of schools and move into summer, Let's really reflect, reflect on Jesus' message. And he gave us some good rules that really can help us. You know, the great commandment, the golden rule, and forgiveness. Those will help us to be happy. And don't forget about the fourth commandment, boys and girls. Honor your mother and father in everything that you do. And when you don't know what to do, remember what my family calls... The 11th commandment, the extra one that we made up, it's just basically be good. You know what it is to be good. So go out there, boys and girls, be safe, work hard, and do right. And as always, go Zephyrs.